Today, Apple sells 12 different types of bands for Apple Watch. That's a lot of bands to choose from in many different materials, colors, and price points. I have 8 of those different types of bands today, and I'll be reviewing each and every type to help you decide which one is right for you. If you're looking for a specific band type, remember, you can skip to the chapters below. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First, the most basic Apple Watch band ever, the Sport Band. You've seen it everywhere because it's the most popular and common one Apple sells. Putting it on is easy, just tuck the pin into your size and slide the band into the insert. Now, this band is very simple. It's made of fluoroelastomer, and even though it is very soft and smooth, it has proven to be durable over time. It's fairly lightweight on the wrist, but you still know that it's there. Overall, the sport band is great for casual wear and blends into your outfit depending on the color. And it's the most affordable Apple Watch band Apple makes, alongside the Solo Loop and Sport Loop. So if you're looking for a casual and affordable band for your Apple Watch, the sport band is the right one for you. I have three sport bands, the Black Unity Sport Band, the Surf Blue Sport Band, and the Starlight Sport Band, and the Black Unity is definitely my favorite. It's one of the only sport bands that really stand out other than the bright colored versions, and the three color design is just quite unique. Second, the little brother of the sport band, the Nike Sport Band. Believe it or not, I find the normal sport band better than the Nike Sport Band. The Nike Sport Band does have some holes all throughout for breathability, but to me, the material used is a bit more hard and rough compared to the sport band. It is no way uncomfortable though, it's still a great band, but I would prefer the normal sport band if I had to choose between the two. The Nike Sport Band's design is one of my favorites though. The two-tone design with the holes really makes it pop and is great for active wear like running or simply exercising. So if you're an active person and are looking for a band for exercising, and if you're a Nike fan, the Nike Sport Band is the one for you. I have two Nike Sport Bands, the Pure Platinum slash Black Nike Sport Band, which is quite common, and the Black slash Lime Blast Nike Sport Band, and the latter is definitely my favorite. I'm a big fan of the black and green combination, and it matches great with some of my Nike shoes and clothes. Third, the Sport Loop. Now, the Sport Loop is made of an entirely different material than the Sport Band. It's made of a fabric weave that comes in many distinct designs. Now, the cool thing with the Sport Loop is that it's infinitely adjustable, so you can adjust it to the exact size of your wrist, and whether or not you want it tight, like when exercising, or a bit more loose when you're just chilling. The band is especially great for swimming because the fact that this is infinitely adjustable makes it more comfortable when you're in the water and so that it doesn't fall off. If you love exercising and are looking for a comfortable band, this one is the right one for you. I have four different sport loops. The United States Sport Loop, the Abyss Sport Loop, the Abyss Blue slash Moss Green Sport Loop, and the Sea Salt Sport Loop and the United States Sport Loop is my personal favorite. Why? Because it has all three of my favorite colors. Fourth, the Nike Sport Loop. Now, this one's a short one. The Nike Sport Loop is basically the exact same as the Sport Loop, just with a different design, and past versions have also had an extra layer of reflectivity for nighttime, but they no longer sell those versions today. The Nike Sport Loops they do sell today are quite unique, it has the Nike swoosh logo on one side and the word Nike repeating on the other side. If you like the Sport Loop but you also love Nike, the Nike Sport Loop is the right one for you. I only have one Nike Sport Loop unfortunately, which is the newest black swoosh version. So that's my favorite Nike Sport Loop because it's the only one I have. I am a big fan of the white version they also sell though, and I'm looking to get my hands on that one soon. Fifth, the Solo Loop. Now, this is the most minimal band Apple makes because it has no clasps or buckles or any seams. It's just one piece of liquid silicone. It's the same thing as a sport band basically, but since it has no clasps, you have to size it to your wrist and so there are 12 different sizes to choose from. And that's the big problem with the solo loop, sizing. The online sizing tool that Apple offers is actually quite wrong. And if say it says you are a size three, you're actually a size two. Many customers have complained the solo loop sizing being too loose for them, so remember, if you want this band, you have to go down a size. 
Also, you may be thinking, how do you put this band on? Well, it's stretchable, so you simply stretch it over your hand into your wrist. That's it. The Solo Loop is also the oldest band that I have, and this black one for some reason has discolored a bit. The area by the band attachment has gotten lighter for some reason, and the size markings have also faded out, so that's something to note. This band also stretches over time, so that's another thing to worry about. Overall, the Solo Loop is a very comfortable and super minimal band and is great for any occasion really, but you need to make sure you get the right size. I have two Solo Loops, the Black Solo Loop and the Clover Solo Loop, and the Clover Solo Loop is my favorite. The black one was my only band for many months and I'm kind of tired of it. Sixth is the braided solo loop, the more expensive brother of the solo loop. Now, all of the bands we've talked about up until now costs 49 US dollars. The braided solo loop costs double that at 99 US dollars. So now we're getting into the more expensive bands that Apple sells. The braided solo loop is the same as a solo loop but better. It's made of 16,000 polyester yarn filaments and is simply the most comfortable band ever. Spoiler alert, this band type is my favorite. This is the band that I would recommend for anyone if they can fit it into their budget. Unlike the solo loop, I found the braided solo loop to stretch less over time, which is a good thing. And apparently, according to the internet, in the event that it does stretch, you can just put it in the dryer and it'll go back to its normal size. Again, the braided solo loop is my favorite band. It's the one I'd recommend for anyone. It's comfortable, lightweight, and simply beautiful. It's so comfortable that it doesn't even feel like it's there. I have two braided solo loops, the Abyss Blue braided solo loop and the Black Unity braided solo loop. The former is my favorite because it matches perfectly with my Blue Aluminum Series 6. Seventh is the Leather Link. Just like the braided solo loop, the leather link costs 99 US dollars and obviously is made of leather. This one is quite cool. It has two leather pieces and they attach together with magnets. The leather link is a great band for more formal events, but it is definitely not for exercising. Leather is not meant for exercising and it tends to smell over time as it absorbs your sweat. Also, as you go about your day, the leather link loosens up over time, causing you to have to readjust it many times a day. Oh, and since this is leather and there are many magnets involved, the wear and tear is quite noticeable and it has developed some wrinkles in between the magnets. Overall, the leather link is a great band for formal attire. It is not for exercising though. If you exercise often, I don't recommend this band for you. I only have one leather link, the chalk version, and I absolutely love it. Again, it's not for exercising. Last but not least, the Milanese Loop. Now, this band is very similar to the Leather Link. It also costs $99, also is put on by magnets, also loosens up over time causing you to have to readjust it constantly, and is not for exercising. It's the Leather Link's cousin, in other words. But the Milanese Loop is quite stunning, especially in the sunlight. It glimmers in the light and it simply makes it look premium. It's made of fabric stainless steel that basically acts like liquid, which at times can be mesmerizing to play with. Again, the Milanese Loop is the same as a leather link. If you exercise often, I don't recommend it for you. But if you go to formal events often, this band is great for those occasions. I have just one Milanese Loop, the second generation gold, and I love it a bit more than the chalk leather link. Let me say it again, it is not for exercising. So, those are all the bands I have. Well, I also have an Hermes nylon in my collection, but I didn't review it because I can't wear it because sadly my wrists are too small, so it just sits there in the corner of my band wall. If you haven't decided the right band for you yet, well, you're in luck. I'll sum this video up for you. The best affordable band is the sport band. The best band for exercising is the Sport Loop. The best band for formal attire is the Milanese Loop. And the best band for casual attire is the Solo Loop. And the overall winner for the best band ever, in my opinion, is the Braided Solo Loop. So, that's all I have for the video today. This seems like a longer one than usual, which is interesting. If you have decided on the band for you, let me know down in the comments. 
And if you already have your favorite band, let me know which one it is too. See you in the next one.